how are you today? So this session is all about new beginnings. If you're starting a new beginning, it could be a new job, a new going back into school, it could be a new anything, a new home, whatever it is, or just a new beginning, a fresh start, you know? This is a great way, this session is a great way to really manifest what you want and how you want it to show up for you. So at the moment, um, this episode will actually air the day after um, the start of like spring so I'm going to be focusing all about spring and flowers blooming growing you know like those seeds that you've put out there so maybe the goals or visions you've had before that you've put out there in the world it's all about how we can manifest that how we can bring that to life so let's start with the first thing we're going to do today so to start off with we are going to create this lovely image here of a flower. It just needs to be perfect, but this flower in it has four different petals. So you could literally draw like a little circle in the middle and then four different petals, however you want to. Of, and inside the petals are things that you that you really want to kind of like happen or um, you really visualize to happen in this new beginning for you. So for example, in my first petal here, I have self-belief saying I can do this. Another one is working towards my goals, tick, 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 ticking off everything off my to-do list. Not getting everything done, but just ticking some things that I want to get off for the next three months. And then here is spending time in nature, but actually resting in nature. So going for a walk or just sitting on the grass, you know, as the, as the weather starts to heat up. And here is a big one, is time to allow my inner child to play. So this is kind of like allowing yourself to play, allowing yourself to explore, allowing yourself to be. So this is the um, example. And now let's go on to creativity. So to start off with, all you need to do is just go in with the middle of the center of your flower here. It can be as big as you want to be the middle. And this is the center of everything. So this represents the center the seeds that you have put out there to reap. So all the things, all the goals, all the things you want to manifest, it's all in the centre. And then around are your petals. So you might want to start off with a pencil like I did. And I just kind of created these kind of like circular, kind of lobby shapes here, as you can see. And then you can rub this out, but I'm not going to because I kind of like the different lines in there anyway. I like the expressive shapes. And then you go in to create. And you might not go all the way in. It's totally up to you. Remember, it's not about it being perfect. It's just about you being in the process. So there you are. There's my four petals. And then if, if, you're, if you already know what you want to put in, perfect. If you don't know what you want to put in, you might want a mind map like... Um, what I want to achieve in my new beginning. I don't know if I spelled that right, but it's okay. So for example, for me, it is the biggest thing is rest. I want to have more time to rest. Maybe for you, it might be like, you know, showing up in a different way. Is it trusting in yourself? Self-belief, huge for me. Being kind or spending more time to be kind to yourself. And so on. So that's how you can start off with it. So then bringing that back now to what we're going to put in there. So I'm going to start off with the first thing for me is self-belief. And I believe that when you believe in yourself, you can achieve anything. And if I've not got this right, that's absolutely fine because we're not here to assess people, you know. We're here to have fun and get creative. I mean, if you really want to work on your spellings, that's something you want to work on, then definitely like have a little think about it. But here, there's no judgment here. So, just draw myself. Like I look free, so this is an image of baby and free. I realised the other one didn't come on your hands. 
Well, I have got hands and here they are. <laughs> believing in your power, believing in your wisdom, believing that you've got this. You don't need to like worry about what the people think of you. And then again here, a big massive, I can do it. Because you can. And then here I've kept it quite like um, vague of working towards my goals because I'm not putting the pressure on myself to like say exactly what goals I want to work towards. I think that work, setting your goals is a total different session and that's what we're going to work towards. Um, in the future you can do that again if you really wanted to, looking into, you know, what goals you really want. I've just drawn some shapes for here. Spending time resting in nature. So I think, you know, take the pressure off. You don't next exactly need to know what you um, visualise. Like, I mean, there is there is the sense of visualisation where you need to be exactly like, you know, exactly know what the visual looks like. Otherwise, you won't achieve it. I've heard a lot of people say that, but I think the first step is just actually just acknowledging what you want is the first step. So even if it's like vague, that is okay, you know. And then as time goes on, you might start to visualise it. You might start to see visions of it. So there's, it didn't have to be perfect here, honestly. So, put time to rest in nature. And most importantly, I think play. You learn so much when you play. So time to play. Time to let my inner child play. That's a really big one for me this spring. Allowing my inner child to play and allowing myself to just kind of be and like in every emotion that comes up, not judging myself, not saying that I need to be anything else but myself and just allow the allowance of that and the acceptance of that can create absolute like so much, has such a big impact on you. So and there it is so far, and then you can kind of more on this if you want to. So with this one, just really take your time to really think about maybe like just little ideas of what you may want in the spring. Again, it doesn't need to be perfect. It's just putting your energy into it. Really hope that you enjoyed this self-care Sunday. I really hope that it, that, you know, maybe brought different emotions up and knowing that you can do it, you can achieve it. You can achieve anything that you put your mind to. Um, and I'd love to see your creations as well. So if you want to send me an image, post it in the comments below, that'd be great. You can like and subscribe and share this um, video with your friends and family as well and loved ones. Just to spread a little, you know, positivity about spring. Anyway, see you soon.